It's the final few seconds before the lights go out and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. Welcome back F4 Manager family to the next F4 Manager video. In today's video, we're going to be doing our final round for the Dutch Grand Prix. As we're in the contenders division and it's the final round also we need to do some pushing later on uh, to get back up in the in the leagues as i was in the top spots in the leagues to get promoted so i need to put some work in on that to get back up in the leagues all right so the car setup as you know this is the car setup i'm using for the gp event and it's the final day so we're going to be putting in those boosts. I've been using Stroll and Hamilton for my wet races. Uh, so let's switch back out. Uh, Hamilton to Kimi. We're just going to be using Kimi and Hamilton straight uh, for all these races. All right. Let's get straight into this. Perfect score coming in there. How did I get into a group like this? This dude qualified with one race. How did I get into a group like this? Something was wrong. Why is this dude in this group that qualified with one race? He missed. He qualified with one race. He missed the race in the opening round. He should not be in this group. Oh well. Let's get it done. That dude should not be in this group. Uh... But it is what it is. So we're going to do our first five races and then we'll do our last five races on the junior account. So look out for that later on. Also remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications. Also leave a like on the video. Let's throw our boosts in there. Uh, I like to give the driver at the back the hex, but I'm going to give Kimmy that. And I'm going to give, give Hamilton a downforce. Though he does not need the downforce because the tire, this is not a track for tire management. We're just going to go with it. He's already in the front. He should pull away and get first place nice and early. So it's just a matter of Kimi following him. Alright, so Hamilton didn't get first place on that pull. Kimi now pulled away, got in front of Hamilton. Let's see if Kimi can get second place before we cut down. Alright, so let's cut down here. As AI Hamilton is holding strong. So for wet races on Zanvoort, you want to go for three for four laps. 
and then you come back to pit and boost to the finish. So we're going to go for a three lap with Hamilton since he has the extra tires. And then we're going to go for four laps with Kimi. Rival Kimi trying to overtake Hamilton. Alright, so he got him. You said we were going to go to pit with Hamilton to prevent stocking. Uh, let's keep going for four laps. There's Bouchard drivers here and here. Putting those go to pit orders. Come on, Kimi suffering a breakdown. Putting those go to pit orders. Let's boost Kimi from there. So he can create a little bit of distance. Since he suffered that breakdown, we have to cancel pit with Hamilton. I might have to do an extra lap with Hamilton. He might run us out of tires. Uh but 20% should be able to good enough to get him around for another lap. Yeah, he has the 20%, so we're going to go around with Hamilton for another lap. And he's Kimi created a good amount of distance, so his breakdown time was good. Now let's conserve Kimi to kind of slow the pack down as Hamilton continue to push. Now we're going to boost Hamilton from here into pit. Let's give me kind of slow the pack down a bit. Now to boost up Kimi. Hamilton out in second. Nice. Well done. That's it. One, two. Nice one, two play there. Even though the game gave us a breakdown, we managed to manage our breakdown and get the best results. So first race, one, two. At this point, we just need to enjoy the scenery as the race finishes up. Wait, did that AI car just run off the track? There goes Hamilton coming from off the track there. Get off. Great race. Let's get into the next one. Eighty five power tune from the rival. Oh, so he's one of them who's running the high reliability tune as well. A lot of players have been doing that lately. Running high reliability, forcing a breakdown on their rival's car. Still can't believe that dude got into this league.
let's get into this next race. So that's the okay qualifiers. Uh, let's give Kimi the hex. And let's give Kimi Hamilton a dead fast. Let's go. We need to get back up into champions division so we can replenish our dead fast. Nice squeeze there from Kimi. Good try from Hamilton to get up to six. All right, so Kimi got first place. Let's cut him down there. Hamilton got sixth place. Let's cut him down there. All right, so we want to go for three laps. We could do a one stop with Kimi since he's already out in the lead. So it's just a matter of Hamilton catching up. So we're going for three laps. Then we're going to start our boost phase for and boost to the finish with Hamilton from there. Yeah, I might go for a one stop with Kimi. Since he's already in the lead, the one stop would be the best results for him. Let's go back to pit with Hamilton here. Let's boost him to pit. Use up some of that extra full fuel. Put down some of that power that he gets from the dead fast. With all the grip that comes with this tune. This is the old concept of this tune. So I tune for high grip and arrow. And then I use boost like the dead fast boost to get to get me uh more power. So right now the power should be at least close to 90. So currently the car would be a 90 power car with a 71 grip. And a 60 arrow. Well, if we had tuned for a lot of power, then the car would have been uh, gaining less grip and arrow from the boost versus gaining the power it does now. All right, so one car to go. And it's Vettel on hard tires that hasn't gone to pits as yet. So this is another one too. I use a slight trick strategy there. I have to go to pit in the fifth. After I've conquered most of the AI cars who were on hard tires. So I went to pit uh, in the same time they will be going to pit and get back out and get in front. Secure the one, two there. Now I can just cut down and conserve my Hamilton. Enjoy the scenery. While Kimi continues to push to the finish. Use up some of that extra fuel on our Hamilton there. Make up some distance on AI Hamilton. So he has no chance to try and overtake us at all. See that AI car blocking?
He's not supposed to be blocking. He's a back marker. So he's supposed, supposed to be letting our cars through. But he was forcing, trying to block in our car there. It is what it is, though. Nice. Second race. Let's get into the next one. Let's check for race grade real quick. Okay, so in the next race, we'll have our race grade. Let's dive in the next one in France. Let's go. Let's see the qualifiers. One thing with this tune, it will always get you into the top 10 in your qualifiers. Always. Dead fast. Hex for Kimmy. So, the main reason for this tune uh, with the Hex and the Dead Fast. Is to give the car extra power. Kimi also get extra overtaking. While Hamilton get a little more tire management. With some extra fuel to burn. Right, we're going to cut down after this last this corner here. See Kimi couldn't squeeze in the DR zone there. Get up to second. So we're going to cut him down there. Hamilton got up to 5th, cut him down there. Up to 4th now. Kimi still in 3rd. Hamilton tires doing good. 60% cross the line, so we're good for 3 laps. at some of the scenery as we cruise first and second place Verstappen and AI Hamilton they should go to pit there they go and that's the security of 412 right there now Kimi should use that clean air in front and just take his time and pull away create a little distance between himself and or Hamilton rival is on hard tires so he's gonna go for an extra lap or he's gonna come to pit one of them let's boost Kimi in from there we're gonna stock just by a little here, not by too much. There we go, back out. Now we're going to be boosting for two laps. And the power behind these boosts uh, will get back those positions nice and easy. Give me forcing to get around Hamilton, got him. So that's first place. Now to get Vettel, get AI Hamilton here. There we go, and that's second place. As our rival will be going to pit.
Now we can just go back to pit and cruise to the finish. Let's go down Hamilton so we don't stock. We could even go back to hard tires. Right, so Kimi came back out on softs. Hamilton also came back out. Uh, he got the hearts. Alright, so we can just cruise on these hard tires to finish. AI Hamilton will have to stop. And our rival wouldn't won't be able to get the finishing to the finish of the race with that Kimi on half of tires. So he'll have to go back to pit as well. So one two secured. You could take a free stop with Kimmy and keep boosting. Let's take a free stop with Kimmy and keep boosting. That's just a free stop. Keep those tires up. <laughs> Hamilton now in front. Let's see if Kimi on the softer tires can get by Hamilton. Kimi is about to run out of fuel. No way he's catching Hamilton in the dead fast. There we go. Another great race. Another one too. Looking good. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing in your GP event. As we go into our fourth race. Also using Hamilton and Kimi. He's running the 85 power tune. Alright, so basically uh, we can use this 85 power tune as an example. Alright, so with the dead fast boost, uh, the power is going to be somewhere probably 90 or something all right and with the hex it probably be like 86 or 85 all right so if this car has 85 power it will have 60 arrow 71 grip and 42 reliability now that 71 grip is going to be very important versus the rival 63 grip That's going to make the car a lot faster and take advantage of all the power from the car. It's good. Oh, we should have that race. Great. And then we dive into our nether race. Let's go.
All right, qualifier is looking good. Three and eight. Once again, dead fast. And hex. Let's go. Rival using Hex and he's using the Warrior. Kimi already in the lead. Cut Kimi down there. Hamilton in seven. I cut him down there. He should be able to get around Alban on those hard tires. There he goes, getting around. I see if the rival is investing. Yes, he is investing in his Grosjean. Uh, using up that fuel to catch up to our Kimi here. Getting stuck on AI Hamilton. Alright, so he gave up the investment. It's always good when you see your rival is investing and he's not gaining. Normally I would have boosted here, but I'm going to continue to save. His arrival is again investing to get stuck. The reason why I did not invest there is because I want Verstappen to to attempt to overtake me. So the rival Busin uh, behind Verstappen would get stuck. Now to invest with a little fuel there and boost into the fits now. It's the old concept of the driver behind. You're using the driver behind you uh, to hold your rival. Now we're going to be in our boost phase. Now let's see Hamilton and the dead fast boost uh, performance. All right, so he got back by the Albon. Now he has AI Hamilton. And Valerie Bottas to deal with inside now. Switch to the inside. All right, Bottas, good defending there from Bottas. We're going to go back to here in the fifth. The rival is also going to go to pit in the fifth. Come on, Hamilton. DRS dead fast. Get around AI Hamilton now. We got that, that good line a while ago, but then we got blocked in. Can't block that one for long. Now we need to go catch up to Verstappen. Rival probably wondering. Oh, he went. He came to pit with his Grosjean as well. Great race. Thanks, bro. I'm basically doing the Hill Mary strategy here. This is why I went to pit in the fifth. So if he had gone to gone gone for an extra lap, then my Hamilton would have caught up to him while he was in the pit and get by and get me that second place. But now I'm just gonna settle for third place. As Ham I doubt Hamilton is gonna be able to catch that Grosjean with the hex. So we'll just settle for third and get a one three. Doubt Hamilton is going to catch him unless he's out of fuel now. So Hamilton has one lap to go and get that Grosjean. All right, so he's pulling up. Looks like he will be able to catch him. One lap to go. It looks like he's low on fuel because he was investing a lot to catch up. DRS now with the dead fast. Here comes Hamilton versus Grosjean. Dead fast versus Hex. Rival can't continue to boost. Come on. Inside now. Switch. Switch. Good. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him there. We're about to run out of tires. Thanks, man. Good luck to you too, man. Well done as well. Great race there. Got that one too.
thought we weren't going to get it, but we Hamilton delivered in the end. Awesome race. Let's look at the car difference. Uh, he was using level 7 Albon with level 10 Grosjean. You see, once again, you see a rival running that high reliability tune. This one is all 60s. So the hex boost would would give this car more power, while the down the warrior will also give it a little more power as well. So it's kind of running on the same concept that I'm running on, but he's running for less because of the high reliability that he wants to get. So what some players are doing now with the high reliability, they're running tunes with high reliability uh, to force the rival cars to break down for them to get an advantage. Sometimes it works, another time it does not. All right. All right, so let's get into our final race. And the code word for today's video is, let me see what the code word is gonna be today. All right, let's use final round for the code word today. So leave final round down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys for all your support as we continue to push to 10K subs for our live reactions uh, on our videos. Also remember to check out our channel memberships. First channel membership live stream coming up soon. Uh, where we're going to make the live stream public, but only channel members will be allowed to comment. And yeah. Remember to leave a like on the video. Alright, so let's get into this next race. Nice, 3 and 6. And we're going to use the same boost. Hex. 4. Kimi. Dead fast. 4. Hamilton. There's not a lot of straightaway here, but there is a back straightaway. That is really long. And so the boost uh, should be able to use up the car should be able to use that extra power. Put on some rubber, burn some rubber there. Kimi get installed, but he's back up. Got second place. Should be in first place, but he got stalled. Let's see if he can scream by here on this small straightaway. Yes, he did. We can cut him down right around here while Hamilton. Let's see if Hamilton can push around Kimi. Yes, he did. Now to get AI. Yes, he did. I'll cut him down right about there. And that's the one too. So our races are going great. I wonder if this is going to be our first perfect score in this GP. Looking good so far. Hopefully the next five races uh, we just go through nice and smooth uh, without any hiccups or any problems. And get our first uh, 470 score. My personal best is 468. So even if I get 469, that would be a new personal best for me. So I'll be happy with that. But 470 would be like really, really good. I would really be happy with that. All right, Hamilton's on hard tires. Okay, all right, so we can use some boost here. We're going to wait until we hit that back straight away. Then we're going to use that boost. That long back straight away there, that's where we're going to hit the boost. Uh, as we go into pit, put in those little pit orders. Let's hit the boost here with Kimi. And then at the end of the back straight away, then we're going to boost Hamilton. So he creates a little distance on AI Hamilton. All right, let's boost our Hamilton as Kimi starts that straight away. That should be good enough distance. Let's boost now down with the dead fast, down that small straight away there. Create some distance between ourselves and AI Hamilton on those hard tires that should be holding up the pack. Nice. 
So we go in and out of pit for free pit stops. No challengers, free pit stops. Now to boost to the finish, as we're in our boost phase. Very nice, want to secure nice and early. Now to just enjoy the scenery of the Marina Bay. Awesome race here. So let's go. Looking good on our way to our new personal best or our personal our our perfect score, which would be our personal best, new personal best for real. So the entire concept of the car uh, with the hex and the dead fast boost. It's so real. Yesterday I, I saw a tune that is like a higher level tune to this one. It has more grip and more arrow, but it requires uh, two epics to be at level six and level five. And I have them at level five and level two. So it, if those epics should come up, then I will be using that tune instead of this one. I saved the tune though, I got it saved. So if more epics should come up, then that's the tune that we're going to be using. It has a grip of 78 and the arrow is at 65. I think the power is also at 70. Uh, the power is at 78 or 77, somewhere about there. So once you put that extra grip, that extra arrow and extra power on, uh, where you'd be getting the extra, hold on, my alarm. Where you'd be getting the extra, the extra grip, the extra arrow with that extra power, it's going to make the car insanely fast. All right, let's go back to the scenery and enjoy the finish of the race. Third place is like way halfway up the track, way in the back there. The rival is just nowhere near. So once you can get a tune with a good amount of grip and a good amount of arrow and you can use the boost like the hex boost that gives you a good amount of power and the dead fast boost that gives you even more power then your tune will be basically unstoppable unless you go up against somebody with a higher levels with better epics and stuff and as you can see this tune is all commons all commons. He's running the 85 power tune there. All commons and rares. So no epics in there. Alright. So there we are currently in Fort on five races. As we're gonna try and get to the top spot. Score perfect score. We should we should be uh, we might get uh, 7, let's see how much he scored, 423, and then he scored 47 there. Alright, so because he scored 47 in the first round, uh, in our first round we score 195. If I get a perfect score, I think I might get the lead. If I get a perfect score here, I might get the lead. Alright, so let's see. How that turn out you'll know how that turns out in tomorrow's GP rewards video that's gonna be it for this video 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right.